Hello everybody, uh, Peter of England here bringing you an update on the situation concerning Weir Bank and the launching of the Czech Book Initiative. As you can see here, Unitarian, the old meeting house here, built circa, circa 1650 and rebuilt in 1717. 1650, that's before the Bank of England was actually formulated and before William took over the throne, or the Protestant throne on the House of Orange. So a lot has uh, changed since then, and a lot hasn't changed. So today I'm bringing you this update from a churchyard. And I think it's most appropriate to film this in the churchyard to denote the death of the Babylonian debt slavery conventional fractional reserve banking industry. So what I've got here is the, uh, the first set of checkbooks that are going to be going out. Um, I'm doing this just to keep a record so we know, and everyone who's watching this knows that these are real items and they are going out. They'll be sent out, uh, signed for, or recorded delivery to various parts of the world. We're sending them out due to the m amazing demand that we've had uh, in tranches of about 20 to 25 uh, a day. So uh, I'll just try and go as close as I can here just to show you. One, the checkbook itself. All the checks are numbered. There's the cover on the book. And they also come with another addendum, or should we say the Book of Allange, which, as you can see here, explains on two sides the terms of non-acceptance or refusal, or refusal to submit to clearing. So, that's probably it for now. I might make another small update from the post office as they go off. But, thank you very much. Don't forget to subscribe. And uh, please bear with us, uh, because the demand for, uh, for what we're having to offer is, is quite staggering, and there's not many of us to keep up with the, uh, the sheer weight of uh, inquiries. So, please be patient. It will arrive. It's a done deal. It's an idea whose time has come. Thank you. Peter of England signing off.